Hi everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Cheeky Faces. Welcome to my channel. Last week I did full face fox design. So this week I decided I'm going to show you also how to paint foxes, but small cheek or arm designs. I prepared two different styles. One is more cute and cartoony and will be better for younger children. And the second one is more elaborate and almost looks like a modern tattoo. So it will be better for teenagers as well as adults. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with a cute cartoony fox that I placed inside of the rainbow heart. First, I loaded my flat brush with a rainbow cake of my choice and I painted a large heart. Next, I switched to a smaller brush. This one is uh, half of an inch and I loaded it with uh, orange, yellow and red split cake. I started by painting Fox's body. This is his back and his chest. And normally I would start from the head, but I didn't want to run out of the space inside of my heart. For the head, I'm painting something like a mushroom cup and I'm leaving quite a lot of space underneath because we're going to fill it in with white in a minute. Next, I'm adding two pointy ears on each side of the head. Next, I'm painting Fox's tail and I'm making sure that it stays inside of my heart. Next, I'm loading small round brush with a white face paint and I'm going to start by painting bottom half of Fox's face. Next, I'm painting tip of his tail. Then I'm filling his chest and his belly with white. And lastly, I'm adding some white inside of his ears. Next, I loaded even smaller brush with neon pink and I added two cute cheeks and I also painted uh, some pink inside of the ears. And now I loaded the smallest brush that I have with black. Uh, this is number zero brush by the face painting shop and I'm using black by Fusion. And I'm going to start outlining my fox as well as adding some details and his features. And finally, I'm adding different teardrops and swirls around the rainbow heart. And then I'm also going to outline them with black. I added a thin white outline around my fox. Um, I like doing that on most of my designs because uh, it makes the image pop a little bit more. Okay. 
and now I'm going to show you how I painted this uh, slightly more elaborate arm design. So as always I'm going to start by loading my brush and again I'm using the same split cake with yellow, orange and red. I'm starting by painting the nose, forehead and one pointy ear with one stroke. With another stroke I'm adding bottom half of his head. And with third stroke I'm adding second ear, slightly larger than the first one and then I'm pulling it down for his neck. And then I'm using yellow side of my brush to connect all shapes and fill it in with color. Here I'm adding few random zigzaggy lines uh, where his jaw would be and also at the bottom of the neck. Next I'm loading the same half an inch brush with white and a touch of grey. And I'm going to paint it uh, on the bottom of his face. inside of the ears as well as on the side of his face and the neck wherever I think it'll look good uh, I'm doing that to make the fur look more interesting and the next step is switching to a liner brush and I'm going to start outlining his hair and then I will add his nose and his eyes and other details I'm using neon green for his eye and then with the same split cake I'm going to add two loose swirls uh, above and below his head. Next I'm loading a clean sponge with a bit of a pink and a bit of a purple and I'm going to use a stencil. I'm using a stencil with feathers on it but I'm only using the thin feather from it. And I'm just going to press it here and there, wherever I think it looks good, uh, to make my design more interesting. I decided to load another split cake and just add some more colors to my design. I'm painting it very loosely without thinking too much about it and I'm not too worried about it being imperfect because I'm going to cover it with teardrops and other details. Next I'm adding some purple bubbles here and there and I'm using another stencil for that. Next I decided to add neon green outline around my fox to make it pop a little bit more. Then I switched back to white face paint to add some highlights and details on my fox's head. I must admit I improvise a lot whenever I make these videos for you guys. Uh, so whenever I paint something for the first time like here I have a tendency to overdo my designs. And uh, in here I probably put too many details and there's too many stencils and you will see later that I'm actually going to cover a lot of it with uh, teardrops so there was no need for all of that. However, my point for making these videos is uh, to inspire you to create something similar 
not to copy it exactly the way I did it. And if you can do it better and create even more beautiful design, then of course I would love to see it. Make sure you tag me either on Instagram or Facebook. You can find the link to those as well as name of the products I've used for this video in the description box below. Of course, every face painting design is better with teardrops, so I'm going to add them above and below my fox's head. Now I'm loading a liner brush with dark blue and I'm going to use that color to outline white teardrops. Now I'm going back to my stencil with the dots and I'm going to add a few white ones just to brighten the design up. Lastly, I added some chunky glitter around my design. Thanks a lot for watching my tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give me that like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye!